the Panhart VBR, Véhicule Blinda Arrues, multipurpose armored vehicle emerged as a private endeavor subsequent to the triumph of the Panhart VBL armored scout car. Featuring a layout akin to the VBL but boasting augmented dimensions and payload capacity, the VBR caters to a diverse array of battlefield roles. Unveiled in 2002, the initial prototype failed to secure production orders from either the French Army or international clients. Larger in size compared to its renowned counterpart, the VBR armored vehicle offers increased internal space. It accommodates a crew of two and can house between two to seven troops, contingent upon the mission variant. Equipped with four doors including rear access, the VBR showcases a payload capacity ranging from 2 to 2.5 tons, varying with the version. The VBR's armor ensures defense against small arms fire and artillery shell fragments. Augmented with add-on composite armor, it withstands 14.5mm armor-piercing rounds, rendering it impervious to heavy machine gun fire upon installation. Engineered with a V-shaped floor to enhance mine protection, the vehicle is furnished with anti-mine layers, NBC protection, and fire suppression systems. In its initial iteration, the VBR featured a remotely controlled weapon station armed with a 12.7mm machine gun. Alternatively, it can be outfitted with a range of weaponry including a 40mm automatic grenade launcher, cannon, or anti-tank missiles. Employing commercially available components such as the diesel engine and transmission to mitigate costs, the Panhart VBR is powered by the MTU-4 A106 diesel engine producing 325 horsepower. Equipped with run-flat tires and a central tire inflation system, it lacks amphibious capabilities, although development of an amphibious propulsion system was underway. This versatile armored vehicle is highly suitable for airlift operations, compatible with medium transport aircraft like the C-130 Hercules, enabling rapid deployment to any location worldwide.